Let's see how much this parking's gonna rob me. It's not too bad. So weather-wise, this is probably going to be my most challenging camp so far. We've got over 60 miles per hour wind gusts due and the rain is pretty much non-stop. So that should be a good test for the nightcap pop-up tent. That's a joke. I'm out in the Hilleberg solo tonight. So really it will be good to see how that performs in those sort of winds. And don't talk to me about visibility. Nothing. Nada. Zilch. So my Sherpa came out earlier on in week and fixed these ropes for me just in case it gets a little bit too difficult towards the summit. Happy New Year by the way, don't know who I'm waving at, but Happy New Year 2024 eh, it's going to be a good one. I spend a lot of my life just looking at Clag. We can't be too far off now. I'm saying less than a mile or so. The wind is getting stronger and stronger as we're getting higher. I'm not looking forward to that scramble. The wind behind that wall sounds absolutely ruthless. Wow! Jesus Christ! So we just got to the little scramble section. Luckily we're getting a bit of protection from this side of the mountain. You can see the trip point! Come on! Oh, this shelter is going to be my best friend this afternoon. I am not exaggerating when I say that it's probably my hardest hike so far. That last mile then, it's fighting with the wind. I'm going to double check the wind direction, make sure it's not changed on the mountain forecast website because I need to be pitching my tent at whichever side of the wall is going to offer me the most protection. Oh, it's good to get the pack off. I'm just a little bit concerned about this wind because at the moment it's coming from the west but later on it says it's coming from the west south west and it's just whether that goes enough south to cross this side of the wall the last thing i want is to be pure in a channel of wind right next to this wall and just get absolutely battered by it i think we should be all right i think we should be all right i think and should are the key words in that sentence i'm going to put my tent up anyway see how we get on put all my poles together before I even got the tent out of the bag. First thing I've done is attach a guy line to this carabiner that I always keep on my rucksack. You do not want the tent blowing down that hill. So it made sense to bring the delta pegs with me on this one. We're all picked up. It's just flexing its muscles now. Right, so it's time to get out of all this wet gear and start getting dry. Let's get in that tent. Oh. 
Because we're limited with space in the Solo, I've just detached it inner slightly, moved it a bit back, and then that just gives me enough room to get out of all my wet gear whilst keeping the inner of the tent dry. Well, I'm sure you can hear it out there, bloody tornado blowing or something. Proper howling. So I've jumped in my warm gear. I'm actually in the sleeping bag just to warm up for an hour or so and get nice and dry. Can't see me saying getting much sleep, to be honest. But obviously this was forecast, so I knew what to expect. It's gonna be a long old night. Good job I've got plenty of stuff to watch. Lovely views at the summit. Yeah, absolutely mental out there. And then once you get back in, you've got to do that whole process again, getting out all your wet gear, getting back in your dry gear. <sighs> Crazy. Anyway, I think it's time to cook some scran, what we're we saying. So if you can actually hear me over that racket out there, I'm all set up now for cooking. Soto Windmaster stove, we've got the jet boil skillet frying pan, a cheap little plastic plate from Tesco, and then that's just a cheap table from eBay couple of sparks and for scran we've got sweet chili roast scottish salmon fillets Whee! tender stem broccoli jet ball skillet burnt to death because of that last camp i did i'm not happy about that it's gonna take ages to scrub all that crap off that's if it'll ever come off I got a nice salmon fillet in there, a bit of tender stem broccoli. Course number one, salmon and broccoli. Salmon's a little bit overdone to be honest, but I can't complain. Broccoli looks all right. Nice and charred, plenty of flavor on it. A bit of seasoning on that. Lovely. Bit of salmon. Mm. Crispy skin as well on bottom. sweaty socks and gloves next to my head and I know that doesn't look a lot on the plate obviously but I've got another salmon fillet and some more broccoli so I can have that meal again at some point tonight Wanting to kick in the side on top Happy New Year Needs to have a tidy up, don't I? What a mess.
salmon in a storm, eh? Love it. Course two is on the plate. I didn't cook as much broccoli this time because I want to save a little bit of room for later. Well, I'm hanging on in there. I could do with going outside too and checking them guy lines, not being out for like three hours. Who'd want to go out in that? Pancake on the go, boxing's on, blowing a gale out there, loving it mate! Nice cup of tea, can't beat it. Right peeps, the time is 10.30, so I'm going to try to do the impossible and get some sleep. How much sleep I get, I do not know. I've got Top Gear on, on iPlayer. I brought some headphones with me. So I've got my woolly hat, my base layer hood up, my headphones on. I'm gonna put my decathlon hood up and then my sleeping bag hood. And hopefully that muffles out some of that wind noise. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So hopefully, as long as this tent doesn't blow off the mountain with me in it, I'll bring you back in the morning. Strongest wind I've experienced so far in solo. It is 7 a.m. So I'm gonna start packing up. So it could take a while to get this tent down. Sunrise is about 20 past eight-ish. Not like we're gonna get one. But I mean it'll start getting light around then. towards the summit. Should be getting light in the next 15 minutes or so, but with all this clack. Can you hear that? 
to miss the wind. Yeah. All right. Should be all right, shouldn't we? Really? Keep, keep held on. Okay. <laughs> he has. Yeah. Good luck. I believe I just need some more people to try to get up there in this. Crazy! Woo! It's good to be back in the calm. Forgot to get a drone out this morning. I was going to do some nice cinematic shots while I was packing tent away. Yes, people, welcome back to another video. All right, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Yes, people, welcome back to another video. I think that was the one, wasn't it? I've not done it on this video, though. What a camp. Absolutely epic camp. Ruthless, violent. Those wind gusts, man. Last night and this morning, coming down that little scramble section from Penn again, I are actually shitting it a little bit. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out in a bit. Baba, oh she, baba, oh she, baba, oh she, baba, oh she.